Why do patients schedule a consultation and then no show for that consultation? It baffles me to this day. My time is valuable, your time is valuable. I guess some people just don't value their time. Nonetheless, there are things you can do that can actually help people have a higher level of commitment to actually showing up for those consultations. And what we recommend is that you require patients to jump through a few hoops in order to hold their consultation appointment in the office. Now, I'm just gonna share one tip with you for what those hoops might look like. Very, very simple, and you want it to be a very low barrier to entry. You don't want them to have to download a PDF, fill out that PDF, scan it into their computer, and email it as an attachment back to you guys if it's like new patient forms or something like that. It needs to be a lot more simple that the patient can do quickly. So for example, one thing you might have the patient do is text you a picture of their driver's license and insurance card and you're not gonna hold their appointment until they get you those two pieces of information. And you're gonna see your consultation show rate elevate as a result of providing those minimum barriers to entry for that consultation.